How to Stay Calm in Any Situation We all know people in our lives who are as cool as cucumbers. These are the people who never seem to get phased by anything. No matter how the world is crashing down around them, they know just what to say and do, and they act as a calming influence on everyone around them. Then there are the people who get into a flap, who panic, and who shout. Guess who is the more effective in a crisis? Guess who makes the better leader? Guess who people look up to more? So, staying calm in any situation is an incredibly useful skill to have. The question is how you go about overcoming the all-too-human urge to lose it. In this presentation, we'll go over some simple steps you can take to keep your cool. Breathe. The first thing you need to do is to breathe. Recognize that the reason you're panicking is that you have gone into fight or flight. This is your body's physiological response to trouble, and it causes your heart rate to become elevated, your breathing to accelerate, and your mind to race. Not helpful. If you breathe, though, then you can regain your composure and fix your parasympathetic tone. In plain English, you can trigger your rest and digest state, which is the polar opposite of fight or flight. To get into this zone, you're going to use something called belly breathing. Breathe by expanding your gut first, and that way you can fill your lungs more completely, starting at the bottom. Breathe in and out for a count of three on each. Take a step back. The next step is to try and get your head in the game by removing your emotional response. You might be scared, worried for a friend, or upset. None of these things will help. So instead, take a step back and try to imagine what someone who wasn't you would do in this situation. What would James Bond do? Assess the situation in a more removed manner, and you'll come up with a better solution. Assess what needs to be done. One of the reasons that many of us become frozen with fear is that we don't want to take responsibility and make matters worse rather than better. To avoid this, quickly identify the worst-case scenario and the best-case scenario. Accept the possibility of the worst-case scenario, but take the steps you need to take to work toward the latter. 